Hi everybody, this is RGBs here. Um, this is, uh, let's see, episode 14, I believe. Um, last episode we defeated the Wither, died, um, and got our beacon up and running after some work, did some mining, died again, uh, lost a whole bunch of stuff, went to work. And I've been doing uh, some resource gathering, some shuffling things around. I've got some wood, i got to rebuild my wood stockpile, so I'm building a giant wood column to break down. I'll probably do that later. Um, I've been going in and grabbing a bunch of lava, so I'm using lava, you know, right now as my primary cooking source, um, mainly because it, it's not necessarily renewable, but it lasts a long time, and I don't really have to think about it, which means that all of my uh, charcoal and coal, uh, basically gets dumped right into regular usage of, um, torches. You know, that's, that's kind of what I, you know, need it for, so it's better, right? Things are stabilizing, um, and that is good. Um, what I'm going to be doing today uh, is, well, I've just got a little mystery. I was in the nether, and I, you know, managed to trick a gas to come away from the lava lake and on the shore, and I was able to kill it uh, pretty easily, uh, and I got a gas here, which I guess you can use to brew potions of regeneration or whatever. I don't know, I'm never really worried about using it, so. Um, hey, got a gas tier, that that feels great. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, um, we're actually going to build ourselves um, a, a trash unit, a trash disposal system. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because I'm accumulating a lot of stuff and some of it I don't really care about. Um, it's not always entirely useful. Um, so I'm just going to be completely getting rid of some items. You know, for instance, I got a random gold nugget and I don't really need a lot of gold nuggets. I end up having like a ton of eggs and I don't need a ton of eggs. And so it's just kind of handy to have some kind of trash compactor unit. So to do that, I'm going to need all these handy dandy resources, um, and these will help me build um, a system. So I've got lava, this is how I'm going to destroy my items. I'm using a trap chest for the container to actually put stuff in, I'll explain why later. I'm using a hopper uh, to transport everything into a dropper, and I'm using red a redstone clock to basically power the whole operation. So. Um, now, it, I'm using lava, so I can't really have it be near the mill itself because the mill is caught on fire. I had a similar problem like that earlier when I left the chicken farm on. Definitely have to move the chicken farm. Man, that's loud. Um, out and away from the house so that I can leave the lava continually running, so that's you know a good learning experience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trash right here. Um, now, when I say trash... Uh, really, this is just a way to quickly destroy stuff, right? Um, and it's using a similar clock mechanism to the... Oop, me. It's using a similar clock mechanism to the chicken farm uh, in that it's sensing if something is in the dropper and if something's in the dropper, it's going to fire it off and into the lava. Uh, so to make use of this, I'm going to have to be fairly intelligent in how I build it. So... Um, let's go ahead and get started with some of our key components. Now my input chest is going to go right here. So I'm going to have a hopper facing downwards. It's holding shift to let, you know, put it down. And I'm going to dig down here a ways. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a dropper facing downwards. Now it's not really important. I just like to do downwards. Uh, so that way I know that it is deep, deep underground, and I'm not going to have to uh, worry about accidentally blowing, you know, blowing myself into lava or anything like that. Um, so, all right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop some of our lava into this hole. Right. Just go ahead and fill that back up with dirt. All right. And what we're going to do is we are going to actually... Got to dig that back out anyway. Uh, we're going to empty out this area here. All right. Okay. Now, we get to the redstone. Okay. So here's how it works. 
we need to tell if there is an object in this, right? So it's the basic if statement. So the, the comparator allows us to do that. It's essentially, essentially oops, excuse me, that's a, that's a repeater. The comparator, dropped like so, tells us whether there's something in there. If there's something in there, it's going to send out a small charge. And we're going to use a repeater just to extend that out. Right? And then we're going to uh, send that into a signal that um, will feed into this block. Now this block will pick up the signal and power the actual dropper itself. Now there's an important part. If we put only one object in here, um, it's not going to, or excuse me, if we don't hook up this with redstone, it's not going to work, right? It'll only fire off once. What this does is it allows it to send a signal around, shut off the comparator, and then turn it back on again, right? Okay, so I can put something in there, right? See how it just spits it out? Now, if I put a couple of items in there, it only fired it off once, right? I dropped in three, uh, and that's not enough. So I go one, senses it once, doesn't do it again, right? That's not what we want at all. So what we have to do is make sure that this redstone signal that gets pulsed out completes and shuts this back on, and it will empty out everything in there, which is exactly what we want. So let's see. I need to dig myself out. All right. So now, all we have to do is cover this back up, and I'm going to cover this up with two stacks of dirt, uh, just because I don't want this to get blown up or anything, anything like that. And that works great. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with a trap chest. Now, a trap chest is outlined in red, and what this basically does is it sends out a small redstone current when it opens. And what it also does is it locks it so that it doesn't automatically drop anything in there, right? It's not automatically emptying out. So when I close this, right, it feeds right into my lava system, but waits until I'm done. That way, if I accidentally, you know, put a stack of diamonds or something in there, uh, it won't become a problem. And that is our trash system. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Right here. All right. Put this in our tools section, and I think we're going to go downstairs because I want to show you the new and improved mine. All right, yeah, we'll go downstairs. That'll be all right. So we've been doing some mining. Um, I last episode, I like I said, I got the beacon up and running. And I got the beacon up and running to its fullest effect, and it's a smorgasbord of items right now and that's not very good looking um, but it does allow me to go through and do some super fast mining with a decent pick now this is my fortune pick right now um, and it is also my efficiency three pick so it does tend to mine a lot faster I mean, we're, we're mining at like nether speed here um, so that's good it gives me lots of resources right um, I have to watch out a little bit for monsters that spawn in this kind of darkness um, but, you know, my ability to mine resources is a lot better here. Um, so, I just have to make sure that I keep the area pretty well lit as I go. Mainly on the floor, of course. Now, with this uh, comes a problem, right? I'm able to mine resources really just spectacularly fast. Um, you know, I'm pulling away stone, I'm exposing resources if there are any, which, you know, as abundant as this world is, I do tend to pull out a lot, you know, of cobblestone just to get a little bit of resource, right? So I pulled out, what, three, four stacks, give or take, of uh, just regular old stone before I even got to a little bit of resource. Now, uh, that's good. I'm still mining fast, like I'm getting a ton of resources. I don't have to spend a lot of time just straight up mining. Um, but the downside to this is that I have a lot of extra stuff, and it's very easy for me to um, essentially burn through, well, one, burn through picks, but also run out of storage space. Um, in order for me to get up and down and around in this world uh, and to get resources up to the top, 
where I can work with them and do something, I basically have to take them all by hand up to the top, and that's not good. Um, so what I need to do at this point is start getting um, an item elevator going. I'll probably use a glass elevator. Um, I find that's such a funny name because it always reminds me of Willy Wonka. Um, and that's, that's fine, right? Glass elevators are great. They work great. Uh, hopefully they never, ever, ever, ever fix that glitch. Um, but it's going to take me... Where'd you, who'd you... Right. Did I get hit? Right. Anyway, uh, it's going to take me a little while um, to get that set up. Not a big deal, um, but... I don't want to um, do a ton of mining down here until I actually get uh, that elevator up and running. Um, because the resources that I'm going to be picking up here are just insane. I mean, you know, cobblestone is practically insta-free right now. I've got plenty of diamonds. I can always do my enchantments. Um, you know, I could just build specialized picks to burn them out quickly. But getting items up and down and around in the world uh, is going to be probably the biggest issue for me right now. Got some water there. I know what that is and I know where it is. I'll worry about it in a little bit. But that just kind of illustrates the problem now. Something that happened. Right. Uh, the other episode, well not the other episode, but I noticed that when I was doing my mining was I actually have a, I believe it's a skeleton spawner right up here it's a little dungeon yep right here right and that's awesome that's that's what i like to see uh let me sh let me see if i can get in there and show you uh, how this basically works so i went in and i found this area and i blocked this off and i'm not having a huge problem with things spawning right now but i'm going to turn this into essentially a bone meal factory so I don't want to destroy that. I'm going to make sure I maintain this area, keep it up and running very well. Uh, turn this into something really just very special um, that I think will help me get things growing, get things moving uh, with my uh, resources, my tree factory, my tree production. Um, it's going to be a real asset uh, to my arsenal on this map. Uh, you know, it's already a pretty awesome map. I've got better than average resource spawning, um, which has been great. I've really kind of enjoyed that. I think I tweak, tweak the numbers just about perfect. Why am I getting coal? I don't even need coal anymore. Who cares about coal? Um, you know, I tweak the resources just about perfect. It doesn't feel um, overly easy to get a bunch of resources. I still have to do work for it. Uh, so that feels about right. So that's pretty good. So what we're gonna do uh, today is we're gonna go we're gonna start working on our uh, item elevator lift now I have a silk touch pick um, I have worked up and you know gotten one of those eventually um, and that's working well right I haven't gotten done anything with it but I have to go to my ice spike biome now luckily in this world there is an ice spike biome just north of, of my uh, spawn point so uh, that's going to be really easy to go uh, and fetch that relatively quickly. So I think just for fun, I'll keep you on camera as we go and find our ice spike biome. So that'll be a nice little adventure. We'll probably just go ahead and sleep first uh, while we're at it. So we'll eat our chicken and make it to the top. Do, 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 Get your sword out. We are going to have to secure the top of this mine shaft eventually. Now, with my beacon being where it is, I don't think I'm going to keep the entrance there. I just want to mine out this whole section and just be done with it. Like, I don't really plan on keeping my beacon there forever, but I am going to use it to just hollow out an entire section. So I think that that will be a worthwhile endeavor. So we'll just sleep. All right, now let's get our toolkit going. Now, like I said, I ended up getting a lot of cobblestone just in that little amount of time. So resources are gonna be 
resource management is going to be a big deal uh, for a while here. So we'll just have to watch out for that, make sure it doesn't get a little overwhelming. Because um, we can't have that. No, sorry. Don't want to get overwhelmed now. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, got a bow. I forgot I had that bow. All right. Put redstone up. Put our friends in the smelter. Grab our silk touch pick. Put our efficiency pick here. We'll leave our ender pearls alone. Shouldn't need any trees. Looks good. Yeah, I'd say that this is uh this is about what I want. Alright. So it's dawn. Uh, hopefully I can make it back before nightfall. But we shall see. Now, I haven't really ventured out on foot in this direction before. Uh, we're heading, you know, in a westward uh, direction. This is towards spawn. Um, but uh, we'll see if this gets us everything that we need. Uh, I hope it does. Yep, I've got my diamond stuff on, so we should be good. I don't have a hat on, but, you know, frankly, one armor and a half isn't going to make a huge difference if I run into some kind of hostile mob or anything like that it, I, it's just flat out not gonna save me so I'm not gonna worry too much about that alrighty big old bio now I think uh, just out of habit I'm gonna kill any found food uh, any you know, resources I pick up um, I am going to try to maybe kill some rabbits. I might get lucky and get a rabbit's foot, um, which would, I think that gives me a potion of swiftness, if I recall. Um, here's hoping, right? A random chicken. Ah, lava pool. Some wood. And we are moving. Because I actually really like running through a snowy wooded area. Um, these areas just feel cool. I just feel like I'm running and hunting through the forest, and it just feels awesome. I need a little extra wool. Never hurts to have wool, right? Okay. So we will eat. Holy crap. We have wolves. Hello. Tell me that I just tame you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to remember that there's wolves here. Cause that's that's awesome. And there's my ice spike biome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that spire just shooting up in the sky. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back here and get wolves. Wolves. I mean, I can't think of a good, solid, practical reason to have a wolf, but they're just cool. A little wolf pack posse of protective wolf pals. Wolf posse. Protective wolf pals. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm calling them. My protective posse of wolf pals. Wolves pals. Yeah. We'll see. I'm going to have to come back there with some cow. Yeah, we're gonna need to come back there with some raw beef because I think I think the raw beef is what tames them, or is it the bones? Could be the bones. I don't know. We'll try the raw beef. If it doesn't work, then well, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's grab some packed ice. Now I'm gonna grab um, a bunch of it, really as much as I can, uh, because I don't want to necessarily have to come back here all the time every time for the same stuff. Well, how deep does that go? I'm going to regret this. Okay, not going to regret this. Oh, so glad I don't regret that. Okay. Let's dig it right out. I guess, I guess we'll take some random snowballs, which is fine. All right. We'll probably chop this one down because you're piddly. Right. 
Eh, maybe we'll try and get a stack. Good. Now, some people like to use packed ice to make like really fast corridors and things like that. I don't see myself messing around with anything like that. Uh, you know, I build the, I use this for item lifts, um, maybe spawning surfaces sometimes, but I, I can't see myself harvesting enough of this to use it to quite that extent. Just not the thing, right? So man, I wish I didn't ditch those bones. Those are really... Handy. I'm gonna put some of the snow back. Yeah. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Pop. All right. So let's head on back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kill those cows that I saw, right? Um, because the cows might give me raw beef, and, it, and you know, fifty-fifty was raw beef or bones that works. Now. I heard somebody talking about how wolves will like despawn, they won't be in an area that you've been in before. I really hope that that's not true. Because I just think it would be fun to have some pets that keep me company, right? I mean, it, this is not a server world. Um, and it gets a little lonely, I'll say. Um, you know. Sometimes it just feels like you're just sitting around in a room talking to yourself, which is totally not what I'm doing. Honest. Uh, but it'll feel that way. So hopefully it doesn't. Uh, hopefully I can get one of these bulls at some point. If not, you know, no big deal. I'll just cry in the dark. Eat my chicken. All alone. Where were you guys? You were around here somewhere. I remember. Raw beef. Who wants some raw beef? We'll have to find those wolves later. Wolf hunt. That's what we'll do. No, friendship hunt. Friendship wolf hunt. Yeah. Because we're not hunting the wolves. We don't want them to die. We want them to be our friends. Protect us. Keep us from harm. Die in our name. Breed more wolves. Lots of wolf puppies. Oh. And our base is somewhere around here. Pretty sure I've just been heading in like a westerly direction, so I'm willing to bet. Yeah, I need to go south a bit. But... Be my friends, wolves. My friendly wolf friends. Yep, there's the town. So I'll just head across this body of water. Like so. Been awesome, awesome. This has turned out to be fairly productive. Um, I think I should be able to lay out at minimum the basics of my lift. I don't think I'm going to have enough glass. I'll have to end up going down to the desert to pick up some more sand because I definitely do not have the amount of glass I need for now. Or not. I remember somewhere that you can use like regular blocks to an extent, but I just like the big clear open you know sky box oh, i did that in a day wow that was less than a 10 minute trip not bad not bad at all so that ought to be uh one for the record books and yeah all right up in here get some more 
chicken. Okay, this is going this is going good. We are we are cruising along. Put that in our vital resource chest. Alright, got a whole stack of that. We've got our steak, got our mutton, we've got some extra wool. It's looking great. We have our new fancy trash can, which uh, let's see. I have a fair amount of wood now. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna use a bunch of this wood. So I think I'll keep like a stack of these, but I want to test out my new trash bin. Just make sure that that works well. So, click, 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 click. Oh no, I do need those. See? Trap chest, right? It's awesome. Hello, Enderman. Dance with me. Yes! Third Ender Pearl. We're doing awesome. Okay, well, I need to gather together the rest of my resources in order to make my lift. Plan out where I want my lift, because I want my lift to... I want my lift to come up in here next to the mill, right? Because this is this has got to be useful, so... Um, we're going to need that. So I think... Let's see, sugarcane portals, ocean monument, tra ah, trash, knock you right off the list there, buddy. All right, we, did it. we took out the trash today. I think we're doing, doing good. I think next episode we will do the lift, either that or we'll probably start on the chimney. Maybe work on, uh, maybe work on uh, the uh, upper floors of my little base. Uh, possibly even replan out where we want to put the new fancy chicken farm right right it's this having to constantly press back and forth and possibly lose chicken like i just lost a bunch there is annoying and i don't want to deal with it anymore so we'll probably do that well i think that's gonna call it. we're gonna call it go ahead and call it for the day this has been rgbs if you really like this episode and you want to see more um go ahead like if you you know if you really really want to see more hit subscribe leave a comment below uh if you want comments are always appreciated otherwise we will catch you all later